Oh. Ready for impact. This one's gonna be a big one. Oh. Oh. Shit. What is up, guys? The Flix here again. Welcome back to another custom Gates of Hell battle. We're using the Scorched Earth DLC and the fourth free content update. I'm very excited to be bringing you a lot of new units. Uh, in today's battle, as well as this fresh, brand new Königsberg map that you can enjoy in a single-player mission. This is taking place in April, I do believe, during the final Soviet assault to uh, break the defense at Königsberg. They held out for many months, and uh, despite being, you know, many miles, <laughs> I believe several hundred miles behind the front at this time. Uh, it is uh, April, I've, a lot of the photos I've seen uh, do contain a little bit of snow here and there, um, and so I figured this sort of snowy, uh, gritty weather would work well for this kind of Enzig battle, uh, to say the least, and um, uh, you know, we do get a lot of April snow here in Sweden, and you know, it's not too far off. So, uh, this is a beautiful map, it's gonna be a Big. It's going to be a beautiful battle. Probably not the right word to use in this in this in this context. But it's going to be it's going to be humongous. I hope you guys enjoyed that Sevastopol battle I did uh, a couple of days ago. Um, massive fight. We got to use the Maxim Gorky guns, assault sappers, tanks, artillery, all kinds of good stuff. And the battle was so big I could hardly even hear the the action going on on the opposite side of the map. Um, and it was it was truly majestic, and you guys enjoyed it, and I thought it was I thought it was pretty good. One thing we did miss was the 600 millimeter Thor, the siege cannon, and you know what? I even though it's not really historical, why not bring it in here? Like this feels like a good position where you could have a Thor. Um, this is the 600 mil. Yes, get at number three. I'm not sure if it is the Thor, but I believe it is. This one is yeah. This one is the Thor to be exact. Um, I missed it. I was looking at, you know, the BTRs. I don't know where, where, why it would be in the BTR category or the APC category, but I looked at the uh, light tank category, the medium tank category, the heavy tank category. I looked in the special category because I figured, you know, this is a self-propelled gun. But of course, it is also a siege mortar, a cannon, and it was in the cannon section, and I freaking missed it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. But anyway, guys, I'm excited. Get the Scorched Earth DLC by checking out the link down in the description box below. Let's enjoy this uh, final battle for Königsberg. The very, very late war battle. One of the, the last of the war um, in Europe. But guys, I'm excited. We're going to see a lot of new Soviet tanks. In fact, we're going to even see some Coke Cage T-34s. Huh? They started that early. <laughs> Jokes aside, let's get started. Nice, it's nice. Soviet infantry now that have breached the outskirt defenses. Now entering the city itself. Battle's beginning here. Ooh. We're gonna have a lot of folks grenadiers, here, so a lot of mixed infantry here, defending. Panzer Shrek at the ready. That would be an IS-2. And it's got its- ooh, it shot right above the infantry, probably trying to hit the uh, assault gun back here. Position is gone. <laughs> Soviet assault infantry moving in. Oh. 
Oh, walking away. Slow, slow, um, pretty slow projectile, but it, I do I do believe it hit one of the T-34s over with the uh, sandbags. Oh, second one went out. Oh, and they're dueling a panther in the rear. That's cool. This is some really nice footage here, actually. I believe they might have penetrated. I see smoke coming out of that tank. It's not quite down yet, though. The crew is still in it. Ooh, we'll just overshot. That's going to be a kill shot. Grenades are being thrown here. There's some close quarter fighting. Soviet infantry trying to take on the trenches. We got a flamethrower here. Oh, he's shot dead. Oh, look at that. That is awesome. Oh, grenade landed right below his, uh, his legs there. That's going to blow him away. More armor coming in. This is the, uh, once again, more IS tanks, more late war T-34s. And uh, we do have some, uh, so, some really heavy guns here in the center. This is the ISU-152. And it, pick, it really packs a punch. And it's going to be used to sort of break down the defensive fortifications around here. We got a Panzer IV there among the ruins uh, attacking the T-34s. We have a Pack 40 still fighting off. This preliminary line here is still holding very strong. And there's just tank battles going on here. So cool. I believe the next video we do is going to be a tank battle focused. Uh, a tank focused battle, rather. A lot, of, a lot of heavy engines around here coming in. I'm going to tear through that chicken. at work here again, clearing out this trench, torching any defenders here on the opposite side. It's so crisp in this snowy, ice-cold April morning. The German infantry here in the ruins. The Soviet infantry moving up now here. They're trying to clear this position out as well. We have some Germans here hiding among the ruins. Oh, this doesn't bode well at all. Oh, that is a brutal way to go. Clearing out some of the outskirt defenses around here as well. will continue the assault here they have to cross the the train tracks here as well and the center is heavily defended uh, with trenches and barricades to make uh, tanks crossings um, more difficult but the tanks I will I do believe will be able to climb this steep um, steep uh, climb onto the the tracks and then down onto the other side oh. So the battle is going to narrow down shortly as we get into the more of a tighter tighter area of the defense. They're still trying to knock this uh, Panzer IV out, and I do believe they just did. Crew is going to get out. Oh, he's shooting right over his head. Oh, some melee. <laughs> a little bit funky there. Now they're going to start engaging the infantry up from the high ground. Oh, but we still see Panzerfausts being fired. One hit the soldier here and kill them straight away. And the uh, Soviet tanks are being brought down. 
you know, as they approach the uh, the next line here, we do have uh, infantry with uh, AT weapons spread throughout the battlefield. But Panzerfaust was a weapon they could give out in large numbers to Volkskrieger units, and uh, they acted as a pretty pretty flexible uh, AT defense. If you just had to get you just had to get really close to the enemy tanks. You just had to wait until they kept until they like you know crawled up at you. It must have been truly terrifying to, to wait in the trench just as you hear the, the ground shaking as the T-34 gets within meters. We really have, oh, we have a huge tank amassing here, a uh, huge tank uh, uh, gathering. Uh, they're going to spread out shortly. I think they're just sort of regrouping, shelling the upper positions. The T-34s are going to lead the attack out here now. Soviet infantry has approached the uh, German left side. We still have men in the trenches defending. Oh. Found, oh, oh, the, the, the infantry is... Um, <laughs> oh, I'm not sure what's going on here. Turned into a d duck pond. Um, but yeah, they there's there's definitely just a walk, you know, just a couple of meters on the side. You can, you can walk across. Um, I'm not sure how they ended up here in the water, but the tanks are moving up now. We're going to have uh, German guns engaging as well. I do believe we have... German infantry retreating from the center now as the Soviet infantry is moving up. Here we have some more surprises for the attacking Soviets. Whoa. We have a camouflage tiger here. It's going to be facing off against Soviet tanks now as they approach the high ground. Another T-34 is rolling up. Really nice angle here to, to enjoy this from, from a low down perspective like such. It's trying to it's trying to target a Soviet tank here behind the tracks. It's trying to target the IS. Oh, the IS-2, it did. It just knocked it out. One more. There we go. That is done for. Ooh.
German reinforcements arriving. We've got some nice positions back here. Uh, Jag Tiger, a new addition to the uh, game. Looking extremely cool in this line here. Ooh. And then we have a King Tiger. A Tiger 2. Oh, and it's taking fire, though, from, from armor. And it, it's it's right now just trying to hold back this uh, this Soviet armor attack. Some nice views over here. It's like it's kind of like bouncing off those T-34s, which is kind of surprising. And now while it's coming on the flank here, oh, that's gonna just shred. Turrets moving. Oh, it fired a little preemptively there, I do believe. But it's targeting that IS, uh, IS-2 up on the high ground. Nice hit. Side armor is still tanking the T-34. Oh, there we go. That's probably going to knock out the Tiger. They're out. Assault gun's coming up as well. 152. Rockets are being fired. Overshot. Brutal, brutal. Tanks are just rushing across the, uh, the open ground right now. The artillery up here is, is being challenged up close by infantry. They're, they're a little too close. The crew's going to get out on some of these guns and fight the fight on, oh, on foot. Or um, with their small arms, rather, instead of... Uh, that gun. Here's a another new piece of equipment as well, the Grille. Yes. Grille. Okay, the, the uh, 150 mil using the SIG 33-2 gun. Artillery support. We've got some nice explosions here. Some Soviet tanks going up in flames. Not sure what they've been hit by. Probably uh, Panzerfaust. It's up close. Ooh. Oh, this is so cool, though. Tanks burning. And trading with each other out in the open here on the streets. This is, this is really cool. Big explosion. I'm not sure what fired that. Could that have been... Oh, that must have been the what, the 17... Or the 170 mil. No, that's the 210 mil, I do believe. Yes, it is. There's a smaller variant of, the, of a similar looking gun. But this one would look, would look nice up here. We have the Thor. The 600 millimeter gun. Ready to engage. Let's see what it uh, decides to unload on. Um, it's gonna create a big boom, and we're definitely here to enjoy it. Got pack 40s up here on this, uh, this defensive line, too. Really nice stuff. We're really holding here. I'm not, I have no idea what the battle is, is developing over here. We have infantry. We have tanks. The Soviet infantry have uh, breached these positions. Part of the building is burning from flamethrower equipped infantry. The Soviet infantry is now starting to clear out this artillery position. We have any more uh let's do a little quick look back here yeah we do have some reserved tanks that we're gonna bring up now for the the soviets we're gonna bring these up one way or another let them kind of figure it out themselves but they're gonna be needed in the final push on the final guns and the fences up there so let's see how many we can muster We 
you have also have a Virblumin. No, this is a boost wind over here. I believe it's been uh, partially knocked out. Not quite, it can still engage. Flamethrower though, that's gonna be a, a good target for Flamethrower as it's gonna torch the infantry in that uh, open, open top position. It's ready to fire. You guys want to let one rip? Let's let one rip. There we go. Oh. Ready for impact. This one's gonna be a big one. Oh. Oh. Shit. was crazy. Until your position has been cleared out. The center bunkers, they're burning. There's, there's still some German infantry here. That tiger has been knocked out now. Oh man. This could this could very well be the, the Battle of Berlin. This position is not quite cleared out yet. There's still a lot of infantry fighting each other uh, around these parts. Soviets are storming the center now. Have they cleared out this this left flank? Pretty much. I can't see much Soviet Soviet infantry around here, but they're they're focusing on some of the uh, occupants of this building, I do believe. And if that is the case of them sort of getting stuck there. We should. Uh... No, that does not seem to be the case. Ostvin is still active here, though. How did it turn out for this? The armor. Yeah, they're moving out now. Here we go. The heavy tanks are coming up now. Bunker Buster. That position is gone. Did it knock out the... Ooh. A lot of Soviet armor here has been knocked out. Let's try and bring up the, the more tanks that have gotten a little bit stuck back here we'll have to do a little quick quick little pause and actually have a quick little overview of these the soviet um, capacity back here this tank seems to be perfectly fine although it's stuck let's bring that one up uh this one is perfectly combat available and ready let's bring that one up as well this is the tricky part with some of these um huge 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 battlefields and a lot of just uh terrain and stuff that isn't really all too suitable for armor uh, but I believe we've caught all the available tanks back here. The rest are pretty much destroyed, whether you like it or not. The Germans have done insanely good at holding that ground. But it looks like we're coming up on the, the final defenses now. The Jack Tiger needs to be brought down. 
uh, and any of this sort of flanking protection here. And then they can sort of lay siege to this final this final uh, small island fortress here in the center. It's not an island, it's more of a peninsula, but I'm not sure what you I'm not sure what you want to call this. It's sort of a moat really around here. Answer foul. Force. Duking it out. Does does look like they knocked out all the um, heavy IS-2s that we brought up here. Would have needed a few more of those ISU-152s to break some of the, uh, the fortifications. But um, the Germans have been hunting them down, and right now they're destroying some of the last T-34s available as well. Taking a slight executive command here for the, for the, for the attackers. That also bring us down. We have a bit of moving as well. Direct hit! Oh, and that pack 40 is on some crack. Alright, let's see if we can't uh, fire this door one last time here. See what we can do. See what it will do. Definitely rack up some, some kills. Devastating. Soviet infantry is getting too close now. Let's start pulling this one back a little bit. That is so awesome. I just wanted to hear this thing. Things are calming down, uh, the Soviets. Oh, this is so awesome. Well, I mean, it's April. I mean, 
never too late for a little swim. Um, they're, they're swimming across here to, to, to break, to breach this position without having to sort of, so they can sort of circumvent the, the defenses on this side. And once they do take this, the, the battle will be over, or the, 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 the defenses will have fallen. I'm gonna simulate a, a slight German pullback here, which I think would be very cool. Disgusting. Disgusting. Alles zurück. I mean, a lot of their comrades got up, so surely you should be able to get up here as well. Maybe they just, maybe they enjoy this, this swim, you know. Wash all the dirt off. Right, guys, we've come, we've breached that 30-minute mark a couple of a couple of minutes ago. I didn't expect the Germans to do this well. I poured Soviet tanks on them, and now what's left here is just the aftermath, which is just truly brutal. Let's. Uh, I mean, I don't think I've ever seen this many die in it, one of my videos before. Um, that final assault was bloody. Um, what are we looking at here? The, the Soviet casualties are in yellow. And the German cash, please, are in red. And even though it is plenty in some areas, the Soviets could simply throw more men at them. Like there's just there's just rows of dead dead, dead Soviet soldiers here and there. A bit more here at an early area for the Germans, but uh, tanks. I'm not sure how many how many um, what killed what. This Jag Tiger pulled its way. This one's knocked out three tanks, and that must have been some, some pretty heavy tanks. But yeah, the, the Soviets are still pushing up with their armor. It's just I don't think we have much available right now. We have one back here, which is finally, which seems to be in a, unable to move, and then one over here that's more or less messed up. It is in a final duel though against that Dag Tiger. Who's gonna come out victorious? Who is gonna come out victorious? Once the flamethrowers get their hands on that Jag Tiger, it's gonna be bad inside. They're gonna start. Yeah, we always we knew that was gonna happen, more or less. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. I think it's been uh, it's been one hell of a battle, really hell of one. We've gotten to enjoy some new units and uh, just had a pretty pretty chill time in the sense of cold weather. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys soon again. Ciao.